still in the same chair. <laughs> the one chair in her place, mm -hmm. eh? Guys, happy pride. We got our makeup done today, I'm sure. Like, we have a little bit of a different look right now. <laughs> and we thought we needed to film because look how glammed up we look. Yeah, we can't let this go to waste. Like, no. We have a softball game later, though, so we might we'll wear extra it. Fab. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm Kristen. And I'm Steph. And we're bringing you all the glam today. So much glam. Thank you, Sasha. Thank you. Urban Decay. I love yours, I think. I thought really? I, yeah. I was like a little bit jealous of the whole like airbrushed head. Like the <laughs> rainbow contour or whatever that is. But your eyes are epic right now. They're so cool. Anyways, we wanted to do a pride inspired themed video today. Um, Chris asked you guys if you had any sort of gay so many or LGBTQ2 plus questions. There's a lot of like gay in general questions and there's a lot of pride questions. So we might split it up, we'll see how it goes. But there's lots of questions, so we're gonna try to answer as many as we can. And we're gonna try not to rush through them because we're bad at that. That was like a little hint to me because <laughs> I'm the one who rushes things. Thanks, babe. Oh, I love my purple on you. I like your purple. This question is from our friend Renee, and she said, "Should we have, should we say people's names?" Fuck it, eh? Well, this one's because it's from our friend, our friend Renee. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought <laughs> she I thought she okay. Our friend. You Renee. just pay attention okay. to the question. Okay. Okay. Oh, you mean like? Oh no, no, like we know Renee. Yeah, yeah we, we know actually know. Her. Okay, Renee. Have you ever considered that you may just not have found the right man yet? Fuck you, Renee. Just, what about you, Renee? Have you just not found the right man? Married to a woman with two kids. Yeah. <laughs> she definitely just hasn't found the right guy. What about um, that one? What? From Gloria. <laughs> Fucking. Dildo or finger? Thanks, Gloria. <laughs> Whatever you're feeling that day, girl. Whatever you're feeling that day. One of the questions that we got the most was it's my first pride this year. How should I celebrate? Or, like, what are the tips or what do I need to know? I think it can be a little overwhelming. It's yes. a huge, uh, there's just so much going on. I still get overwhelmed when we go to Pride. I think it's just try to take it all in, have fun, don't worry about what you're wearing, whatever, just like worry about yourself and who you're with and just try to have the best time possible because it's such a fun party and it's crazy. And just take it all in. I feel like just every walk of life comes to Pride. Yeah. And whether they're gay, straight, an ally, I think it's just amazing that everyone comes together to celebrate it. And just, it's a place be where you, you feel accepted, mm. I feel like. So. Be whoever you want to be that day. Have fun. Yeah. And then send us photos. Take lots of photos. <laughs> Claire wants to know, where can I meet you this weekend? So if you're in Toronto, we will be at Toronto Pride all day on Sunday. But, too late. <laughs> Your city and family are very inclusive, so what's something that you still find hard about being gay and out? I think I'm just gonna, I think just cause we're in pride month. So it's something that kind of keeps coming up. It's, it's hard to feel like you're not fully educated on every aspect of the community. There's so many different types of people that are involved and make up the community that we're just, I don't even know everything about just the lesbian community. So I think the, but I guess that's not, so that's like the hardest part about being gay, I think is just that you're almost expected to know everything about everyone who's in the community, expected from certain people. So I think I'm always just a little bit nervous and cautious to not say, to say something that's not politically correct or not seems uneducated, but it's not that I'm on it. Like I try to learn and everything, but there's just, everything's changing all the time and, and different things mean different things to different people. So it's, I think that's tough, but. How can I celebrate pride while still being closeted? I don't However know, you want. Question. Yeah, I think you are welcome to always go. If there's a pride event happening near you, you can go. You don't have to be gay to go. Right. So you can just go and say you're supporting. You don't have to comment on your own sexuality or anything. Or you can just kind of have a little moment for yourself where you can look things up online and right. kind of c celebrate in spirit. I think there's uh -huh. a lot of ways now because you can, yeah, like you said, you can go online even and just maybe watch other people or how they're celebrating it or just like be proud of who mm -hmm. you are even though maybe you're not comfortable yet being out or just just reflect almost. Like mm -hmm. you can celebrate pride in like one million yeah. different ways. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be a party. It doesn't yeah. have to be. And you don't have to go out and be like, I'm gay, yeah. but like you can if you want yeah. to. <laughs> Is there a moral obligation to the rest of the gay community to formally slash publicly come out if you can? I don't think so. No. 
I think it's whatever feels right to you. Um, I really, really respect people who are out and proud and, and talk about it, but it doesn't, I don't, it just, it doesn't have to be your thing. If it's not your thing, and, <laughs> okay. sorry, you don't feel like coming out, whether it's publicly or to whatever, you, you don't have to. So no, I don't think anyone has a moral obligation to do that. No. But I do respect it and think it's. I think you come out when you want to come mm -hmm. out. Don't let society, don't let other people force you. When you're ready, you'll come out. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. Totally. I just my feel like pride. we should just be like, it's my first pride. So many people, so many people are going to their first pride. It's so exciting. Really it's so fun. awesome. Um, speaking of though, everyone wanted to know, um, when did you first start to take part in pride? And like, when was the first time you went? Where, where, where did you go? My first pride, I think actual pride celebration I went mm -hmm. was in Ferndale, Michigan at Ferndale Pride. I think cool. you came. Those that was my first pride. I never went before. It was? Yeah. I never went to a pride before. Thank God oh, we did. Yeah, I honestly didn't know that. We're opening up. See? It's so Almost seven years now. Why would you have, or maybe you did. Maybe I just don't remember. What? Why wouldn't you have been like, hey, babe, this is my first pride? I probably did tell you, honey. Maybe. I forget. <laughs> I'm not the best memory. But anyway, my first pride, the first time that I went to a pride parade was actually, I kind of like snuck there. I shouldn't probably, but no, it was like so innocent. So I shouldn't say I shouldn't have gone. Um, but I think I was 16, 15 or 16, and it was in Montreal. Why did you sneak there? Because you just didn't tell your parents? My parents didn't know yet. Gotcha. Yeah, so... See, there's a way you can celebrate yeah. pride. Don't tell your parents and go to the parade. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. I think it made me feel a little... like It was really cool because it was the first time I had been around other gay people. Mm -hmm. And I remember it being like just such an overwhelming experience. Um, I thought it was crazy. I felt a little scared, a little guilty, a little badass. But mm -hmm. uh, no, it was really cool. It was fun. I keep good. staring at your eyes. They're yeah. super, super blue right now. Oh, my actual eye? Yeah. Like, no, no, eye. your actual eye. What is the best moment from any pride that you've been to? Love you girls so much. <laughs> Love you too. Is that weird? <laughs> Probably, but that's you, so it's fine. The best moment? Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I think that one of the coolest things now since, like, this, like, YouTube and um, being on the Amazing Race and stuff has just been meeting people mm -hmm. at prides. Yeah. Uh, we've done usually, like, a little meetup at Toronto Pride or Montreal Pride, wherever we've been, and it's just been really neat to meet other people, to hear other people's stories, and I think that's my favorite part. Even if you don't, you just meet so many different people at Pride, and yeah. I just love, I love meeting new people and hearing why they're there or what their story is. It's just yeah. a really cool, cool part of Pride. I agree with all of that. Yeah, I love just like being with friends, being with other people who are out and being themselves and having fun. I really Montreal Pride last year we went and they had that moment of silence. Oh yeah. Um, that was like really powerful too because I, I just love the kind of the contrast of it's a party and it's a celebration of how far we've come and where everyone is and celebrating everyone for who they are and then it's also this very serious kind of pride is not just a party. It right. has a lot of meaning behind it and a lot of history and stuff. So There's a reason why we need pride still, mm -hmm. right? So Still, even in places like Canada, which is crazy. I'm attending San Francisco Pride next week solo. Oh, fun. How do I approach girls and make friends at Pride? I think just be like smiley and welcoming and open. I don't know, that'd be really, honestly, I would probably be a little afraid to go and go alone and right. make friends. But I think just, I don't know, if you see a group that looks like they're having fun and they're inviting looking, just maybe go up and start a conversation and say, Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? <laughs> I think it could be very intimidating at yeah. Pride because there are groups of people that go together and they're like, the friend group that goes to Pride together or something. Yeah. I feel like sometimes at Pride, people are like, oh yeah, come hang with us. So, I was just gonna say, from, yeah. my, from personal experience, mm -hmm. people who are at Pride are there to make friends, they're there to be open, they're there. So I, I don't think you have a problem. No, it'll be fun. Yeah. I really wanna go to San Fran Pride. Um, yeah, or we could go and then you can hang out with us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, can we go? Why don't some people accept the LGBTQ plus community? Isn't more love in the world better? You would think. As fucking lootly, you're right. Yes, why don't some people? Okay. Yeah. Anyway, they just don't because they suck, you know? Yeah, some uneducated. People, and, some people just uh, suck. Yeah. What do I wear? And what? I'm assuming this means to pride. Oh, I was like, wear what? whatever you want. Literally you comfortable. You can literally wear anything to pride. It's pride. Yeah. Probably like have maybe have a little bit of something colorful in there. I mean, there's only like one time a year I can get away with wearing shit like this on my face, so I'm gonna do it. <laughs> wow, we're still going. There's we're so crushing many them, though. Crushing them. The small city I live in is holding their first Pride event ever this year. How can I be the best ally? 
Oh, fun. Yeah. I honestly just wanted to read that so the people know that some small towns are making moves. Um, and I just think it's so cool for A, that you want to know how to be the best ally already means that you are a pretty good ally. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's just maybe trying to educate yourself a little bit more, um, like as much as you can. Just being friendly and open-minded like you already are if you're asking this question. So, right. I don't know, don't put so much pressure on yourself. I think there's a lot right. of like, as soon as someone's like, oh, like I'm an ally, and people are like, yeah, well, what are you actually doing for the community? It's like, okay, calm down. If someone's saying that they're an ally, we should at least be like, oh, this is amazing. Thank you for taking an interest at all. And then you can go from there and you're gonna be a stronger ally as time goes on. That's true. Thank um, you. Yeah. This is a good one. This is a really good one. Awesome. How much do you love each other? <laughs> <laughs> a little. <laughs> I love you. you just say a little? But it was a joke. I take that back. Okay, I don't know about this question. Because this question is going to get me like... I think it's too... It's... What are your thoughts about the discrimination some LGBTQ plus people face within the community? Oh. I hate it. It makes me really upset. And um, I think it's... We're not standing up for each other, and by each other I mean all members of the LGBTQ plus community. Then who the hell is going to stand up for us? I just, we can go on and on. Like we've had yeah. so many conversations about this. It really, um, really makes me mad and upset when yeah. I feel like sometimes people are worse to each other in our own community instead of being supportive. Don't we all? We all have a common goal at the mm -hmm. end of this, and I know that there's. It's just. We all need to be accepting and inclusive and how are we going to expect other people outside of our community to, mm -hmm. to support us if we can't support each other? How did you know slash confirm what label suited you? It was, I think, just like being with different people, thinking about what my feelings were for different people and eventually I was like, okay, this is definitely, I'm, I'm definitely gay. I think that's how I figured it was, but it didn't happen. It was like over a few years. And you don't have to label yourself no. if you don't want to label yourself. No. I think a lot of people are like, oh, like you might think you're gay for a few years and they're like, oh, like actually I'm bi. I know for a fact that will never happen. Like <laughs> never, never, because I'm very confident and just like I know the feelings that Right, I but have. some other people might. Feel some like people might, yeah. Totally. So it's whatever. And also don't judge people. If they do that, like mm -hmm. let them do that. Yeah, don't give people a hard time, especially that are like, I'm gay now and then all of a sudden end up with a guy. Because I know actually a few girls that that have happened to and at the end of the day it's who you love yeah who cares like just because they were gay for throughout college and a couple years after it doesn't mean it's yeah. not a, she doesn't love her husband now no you know so and if you loved your friend when she was gay you should love her when she's bisexual too so yeah, I don't who know cares yeah, so weird so i think that's it that's it, I nailed it. yeah well, there was like a bunch there of questions more. but have a good gay time this weekend. Have a gay old time. Yeah, that's what that, I think that's what that's I was trying to think of. Today. Yeah, have a gay old time yes. at Pride. But no matter where you are in your coming out process or your self discovery process, just yeah. just try to like be easy on yourself too. You don't have to know everything. I think that's always the question: is How do I know? When do I know? When should I tell people? It doesn't have to be like the the biggest leading thing in your life. Your sexuality. It can just be something that you discover over time and. Yeah, you can focus on it's other things. If it's stressing you out, just focus on other things and you'll figure it out eventually. And it's true. But have me a gorgeous brunette. He'll just be like, oh, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blushing. But have so much fun. Be safe. And if you're in Toronto, come say hi. Yeah. Don't be strangers. Babe, you're hurting me. That's really hard. Sorry, I'm just really, <laughs> just really grabby today. I'm uh, like rubbing, grabbing. I'm no, happy. And if you see someone who looks like they're maybe on their own and they're a little bit like, oh, I don't know. Some people go and they just try it for the first time alone. If you see someone like that, it might be your new best friend. Yeah, say hello. It doesn't have to be even a big commitment if you just go say hi, see how they're doing. Thanks so much for watching. Have a happy Pride and um, yeah. bye guys. Okay, see ya. I just want to wrap you up. That feels good on my back. Yeah, that looks funny. <laughs> so creepy. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Why do I always put my hand like that? That's so annoying. Why are you grabbing my neck like that? I, just, I was gonna <laughs> go for a kiss, but then I just decided it's a little early on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, Did you just zoom in like you're 80 years yeah, old to read that? I, I've also heard it. <laughs> <laughs> I look over and I'm like, that is some large font. Um, What's wet spaghetti mean? I don't know. Someone just said, when did Steph realize she was a wet <laughs> spaghetti? Don't answer that if it's rude, because I was just like, I love you guys, it means 
<laughs> so nice to me. Does that mean like boring? Look up wet, wet spaghetti. spaghetti. When someone says when does Steph realize she's a wet spaghetti? I think that's like um, insult, insulting, like I'm boring or something. But Gloria, you know I'm straight. So is spaghetti until <laughs> What? Is that what it is? A hundred percent. Because I was straight before, but now I'm a wet spaghetti. If someone that's has an like... amazing meme and why have I never seen that? <laughs> if someone has... <laughs> Inside joke that I'll share with the fam later. <laughs> no, we're not. Okay, let's go. Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Fierce. Happy Pride. Yeah. Are you German? <laughs>